Hi guys, this is Anderson and I'm back with a new episode of the Metal Mailbox. But first, let me say thank you for, to you all for the response to the latest Metal Mailbox video. It was much more than I was expecting. The views, comments, likes, and it's so nice to know that you guys like to have this moment when we can have this conversation about heavy metal and show some records that I got. It's so nice to know that you like that and not only the full albums. <laughs> Like I said in the previous video, I have some special Metal Mailbox episodes coming uh, from uh, some labels that sent me stuff. And the first one is going to be No Remorse Records. I'm going to show some things that I got from them on three different occasions. The first one being the time that I was there for the Up The Hammers Festival that unfortunately didn't happen because of the pandemic. It was like the worst timing of all time for all people involved with Up The Hammers, either if you're there as a fan, as a band, or in the worst case, as an organizer. And the second opportunity was a few months ago when they released a batch of CDs. And the latest one this week when I got some of their newest releases. I'm going to start showing the things um, backwards from the most recent and back. So the first album I'm going to show you is a comeback album by a US heavy metal band and we had great comeback albums released this year from bands all over the world. This one is from the United States and it's Hitman Destroy All Humans. This is released 27 years after their latest release and it brings new songs of course and songs that were written back in the day but never recorded and among them is one that my favorite of the album it's out in the cold some people are saying that this is one of the best releases of 2020 and i think they are right so hitman destroy all humans The second one is also a comeback album from a US heavy metal band. And this one, they released one of the best EPs of all time. I'm talking about Glacier. And this one is The Passing of Time. If you don't know, Glacier, they released their self-titled EP in 1985. Then after some time, they split up. And this is the first recording ever since. A few years ago, they put a lineup together to play at Keep It True Festival featuring one of the singers involved in the EP, Michael Podribal. And after that, they felt like the need to uh, continue carrying the name Glacier and representing its legacy. So they asked the original members, most of the original members, to the blessing to carry on as Glacier and they gave it. So Glacier was reborn and this is their first album ever since The Passing of Time. What's all to The third one is by a newer band, and I'm talking about Sacred Outcry. This is a band from Greece. They were active during the early 2000s and releasing demos and uh, some 
songs and recordings, but they never gave this step ahead to release a proper album uh, till this time, till this moment with Damned for All Time. Here you have a great band of power metal with um, something that is uh, lacking from power metal nowadays, that's the driving power and of course great songwriting and they have something that all power metal band has to have that's a great singer and my favorite track here is sacred outcry <laughs> Then we go back a few months ago, uh, No Remorse released another comeback album by a US heavy metal band. And I'm talking about Shock Berry's Full Metal Jacket. I really love uh, Shock Berry's. I have two of their albums here, uh, the Steel and Starlight, my favorite, and I have also Concrete Killers. I'm missing, I think, the first one, but this one is their comeback album, 31 years after the latest album. And like Hitman and Glacier, you have an album here that surpasses all expectations when it comes to new albums by old school heavy metal bands. And even more if it's an album released 31 years after the last time that they recorded an, uh, an album. You have here great songs and my favorite on um, Full Metal Jacket is Brothers in Arms. At almost the same time that they released Full Metal Jacket, they also put out Northwind History. Northwind is one of the premier bands of uh, 80s heavy metal in Greece. They released a great album called Mythology, I think it's in 1987. And this one comes uh, 33 years after their latest release, so it's um, another example of a comeback album being better than it had any right to be. If you like uh, heavy metal with epic tones, the way that the Greek know how to do it, and also lyrics that deal with history, this is a something for you. And my favorite song here is King Alexander III. Your father was swimming to do it. I also got this one from the same batch as Northwind and Chuck Paris. This one is called Lord of Light. The album is Morningstar. This is a newer band, of course. And this is progressive power metal, but not um, in the sense that you're thinking like power metal, uh, European power metal. It's more like, let's say, uh, 90s Fate's Warning for fans of 
90s Fates Warning, for example. Lord of Light is not available on the channel because when No Remorse sent it to me, they said that the band retained the digital rights and only then could give permission to share the album on the channel. And since they didn't approach me, I didn't approach them. I didn't post it on the channel. Now these ones are the albums I got when I was at the No Remorse store uh, at the time of the Up The Hammers Festival. And the first one is the reissue of the split between Eternal Champion and Gatekeeper. This one is the Gatekeeper artwork, it's the, called Vigilance. And this one is the Eternal Champion, it's called Retaliator. So you have two songs by Eternal Champion and three songs by Gatekeeper and a lot of bonus tracks. Two more songs by Eternal Champion and four songs by Gatekeeper. Dexter Ward, it's, it's the third album, it is called Tree. And this is the band that features Manolis Caraceres. He's the organizer at Up the Hammers. And they, he was also in uh, Battle Roar, as was the singer here. And they have like great songs, like In the Days of Epic Metal, and my favorite one, that The Eyes of Merlin. So... That's the word three. The next one is Solitaire Sabred from Cyprus. Like Dexter Ward, they play straight up heavy metal. And their new album by Fire and Brimstone features one of the best songs released this year, in my opinion, and it's Assassins of Carthage. It's the second song, you should listen to it. And the next one is probably my favorite EP release this year. And I'm talking about Black Sword Thunder Attack. The album is March of the Damned. And if you like Warlord and more specifically Lodge and Guard, this one is for you. They have a, a new singer on this album. And she made the difference. The, her vocals 
adds like a uh, some uh like mysticisms to the song and it's very nice so black sword thunder attack march of the damned <laughs> The next one is Throne of Iron called Adventure One. It is the, the Beautiful Land by my friends of Throne of Iron. These guys play super fun heavy metal. You can see by their video of the song Lich Spire that I feature here on the channel. If you like uh, heavy metal uh, with lots of reverb, talking about uh, adventures, holding playing games like Dungeons and Dragons, this is for you. There's no more I can say about this other than it's a great record made by great people. This next one is Moon Chamber, Lore of the Land. This band features members of Crystal Viper, Saracen, and Pagan Altar. And like these two last bands I mentioned, they were like, they felt different from the new wave of British heavy metal because their songs were like, they had like that uh, atmosphere of telling a story and Moon Chamber has the same, it's like it's set us apart of the other bands and it's a it's different but it's a good different you can hear by songs like Raven Master which I posted the video here on the channel you can see how it's uh, both inserted in this new wave of traditional heavy metal but it's also uh, something original and different so Moon Chamber Lore of the Land. When I was there at No Remorse, I also uh, got some of their older releases. Let me show just really, really fast what I got there. I got the Jack Star, Bunny Star, Blaze of Glory, Angel Dust, uh, To Dust You Will Decay, and also two of my favorite albums of all time. Viper, Soldiers of Sunrise, and Viper, Feature of Fate. I already had these albums. I had the Soldiers of Sunrise and Feature of Fate. This Feature of Fate is the original CD edition and it's signed by Andre Matos. But because uh, I got this from a friend and it's not in the best condition, I use it more as a uh, something like a, a trophy because it's signed by Andre Matos, of course. And this one is a Brazilian edition that features both albums in one CD. So I had to, to buy the No Remorse version because I wanted to have uh, 
each one as an individual uh, record. I'm not those collectors who buy like five different versions of the same album. For me, one is okay, but these ones I had to have it. So this was it, guys. This was the No Remorse Metal Mailbox. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.